Today we're going to be looking at something I think is pretty interesting, the Xtron Pro. So this is a programmable modular console that you can use to create games and numerous DIY projects. So this little device is able to run tons of community-made games from MakeCode Arcade, and is also able to run NES games through its built-in emulator. We'll talk more on that in a moment. Now, if you enjoy handhelds and tinkering, this might be the device for you. So this was up on Kickstarter over a year ago. Uh, it was a successful campaign. These things have been out on the market for a little while. And recently, I was sent one for purpose of review. And I thought it was pretty interesting, so I wanted to check it out and share with you guys. Now, this thing, it does have an interesting design with its modular setup. It's magnetic and can have many different add-ons added to it to increase its usability and functions depending on how you want to use it. It is a DIY device. So this device, it has 16 megabytes of flash memory, so you could store your creations and games that you've downloaded. So more than just one or two games. You can fit a nice handful here. I've used other devices very similar to this, and a lot of times you could just flash one game at a time. So definitely nice to see that there's a decent amount of space to hold these little creations. Now, it also has a uh, built-in IMU sensor for motion-enabled you know, enabled games. It also has a built-in accelerometer, so you can use it as a pedometer, count your steps, that kind of thing. It also has built-in Wi-Fi, and there are plenty of other sensors that are offered to add on, depending on how you want to you know, build this thing, what kind of project you want to use it for. It has different modular you know, setups for it that you can add to it, different ports that you can use to add additional add-ons to, right? So using visual programming languages in MakeCode Arcade, you can design your own little games, learn how to make games, or play other people's creations with this device. I thought this seemed really cool after having dug around quite a bit. There's tons of things you could do from little interactive tutorials to tweaking other people's creations, learning how to make your own stuff, all that, you know, all that jazz. A lot of stuff you could do with this device. Now, having something you could play with and, and learn from is a, a big deal for a lot of people, especially if it's done well. So that's kind of why we're here today, right? Now, I found this to be a fairly interesting device. The build quality isn't overly bad, but it does have a cheap feel to it with the plastics that are used for the housing. Uh, the screen quality isn't the best. I mean, the screen, it's a little... 1.8 inch TFT display. Uh, it also has a built-in 500 milliamp hour battery and only weighs a total of 70 grams. So it's a very light device. The buttons and the D-pad feel okay and get the job done. Not the worst I've ever used on a handheld, but serviceable. They function just fine for the, the little games that you'd be playing on this thing. Now, playing some of the games that they had pre-installed uh, gives you a little idea of what this thing's capable of. Downloading games for the device, I found a few simple fun to play games, but nothing really meant to hold your attention for more than a few minutes. This is really a tool for learning and creating. So that's where the value will be for a device like this. Tinkering and creating and testing your own creations. I couldn't see this being, you know, someone's sole choice as a gaming device. It's not really what it's meant for. It's a an education tool, essentially, that you could have fun with. Now, if you were interested in playing NES games, I know that could be one of the selling points here. A lot of people on my channel, you know, retro gaming, let's play some NES games type of thing. And it's possible with this device, with the emulator that they provide, but NES ROMs first have to be converted to play on the device, which is fairly simple to do via a web-based converter that they have up. I didn't really have any issues converting NES ROMs, but... Not all NES games will work. I'm certain not all the mappers are supported with the emulator that they're using, as I did find a few that just wouldn't boot up. But also at the same time, every single game that worked that I played just was horrible. The games were just slow or the audio was really bad. The emulator's really not polished for this thing. It seems more of a a feature that's that's meant out of curiosity and not meant to be you know taken too serious as you know even if the games played 100% I couldn't see enjoying 
NES games on this thing with the way they look on this tiny screen. It, it's just unfortunate because that's one of the big things that I saw this particular company, you know, advertise that you could play NES games on it, but none of them play good. So it's not really a feature I care about, you know? It's just worth pointing out. If you want to play NES games on this thing, not really going to be worth it. There's plenty of other devices to do that on. Now, there is a ton of stuff you could do with this little device, and in this video today, obviously I barely scratched the surface here. I just wanted to share some initial impressions. But I feel the asking price for this thing, which is over $80, may seem like a little much to a lot of people. I mean, it does pack in some neat technology into this tiny package, but I've also seen and used other devices that are fairly similar to this that are meant for like Make Code Arcade and you know creating games and, and loading it up, that kind of thing. You know, I've, I've messed with plenty and I've seen plenty that are half the price but don't quite have as much going for them. I feel like one of the biggest selling points here is the modular design. And that's either gonna you know be a, a selling point for you or not if you're into this kind of stuff. If this is something you're interested in, I'll put a link down below. Appreciate you guys watching on this one, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.